I am taking myself out on a date. This is going to be a day in my life. So y'all, this is what I put together for an outfit. I feel like I was rushing my makeup, but I feel like it actually came out really good. Like, I absolutely love it. Like, ah! I feel like I look so pretty right now. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Child, I smell a lot of money right now. Period. They want she and she and she, and they love them so I'm just trying to get my dick so when I'm out of town, we turn B and B to strip club. back on the scene with another freaking youtube video guys today as you guys can tell by today's title i am taking myself out on a date this is going to be a day in my life i'm going to be vlogging for you guys today um as you guys know i always listen to my affirmations i fell asleep with them on i was thinking about just like doing like a get ready with me then taking myself on a date but i thought i was like you know why not and vlog, vlog my entire day so i'm gonna be vlogging because i've been feeling a much better mood lately so period we about to get back on our vlogging shit so i was thinking about like taking myself out to a restaurant but i was like i don't really like being around too many people and i just feel like i wouldn't be able to vlog that much because i don't like being around too many people so I decided that I'll probably like do a picnic because I have like extra sheets in my closet and I have paint and I was thinking like perhaps I would paint, do like a little picnic. I'm not sure like what food I'll be eating. To be honest with you, I must have been hungry when I was sleeping because I'm not going to cap. I had a dream that I had Chick-fil-A. Now I'm thinking about it. Like before I woke up, I had a dream that I was eating Chick-fil-A mac and cheese. So... Um, should we get some Chick-fil-A? And on the date, I'm gonna paint and I'm gonna answer your guys' girl talk questions. So, period. This should be real fun. Um, I'ma just really cute. I'm gonna do my makeup. But right now, it is... Now it is 9.24 a.m. I've been waking up really fucking early for the whole week. And I'm not even mad at it. Like, I definitely want to keep this behavior up. I be waking up at 8 a.m. Child, be up bright and early. Like, ready for the motherfucking type period. Uh, sorry for, like, the lighting right now. I just want to be in the sun for me. Gotta catch the sun rays. And the sun is beating right in my apartment right now. So it's currently 9 right now. What I'm going to do is I'm probably going to make myself um, a little breakfast or whatever. And then it's so early, like, I'm trying to think, like, what do I want to do? Because it's mad early. I could treat myself to, like, getting my nails done. Ooh, I could do that. Go get me a little set done at the, the nail salon type shit i could do that yeah because i haven't had my nails done and i well, my birthday's coming up as well so it's like my birthday's literally next week i'm gonna buy press-ons that's what i'm gonna do yeah i'm gonna buy some press-ons because my birthday's next week and it just don't make no fucking sense to just do that so we're gonna buy some press-ons today y'all i don't wear press-ons like i'm an xl type of gal for me xl all the way but we're gonna do press-ons for one time because my birthday is next week it's in like six days so it's like it don't make no sense for me to get my nails done and really like i dead don't know what i'm doing for my birthday still like still have no clue no idea what i'm doing for my birthday like i saw somebody in my comments in my last video if you haven't watched my last video i'll have it in the i card or link down below in the description box so you guys go check it out go watch my last video it was a vlog it was my sunday reset but even in my last video somebody commented like do we all not plan our birthdays this year because child i literally have no outfit no plan no nothing i ordered some shoes and they didn't come so it's like um, I don't know what we're gonna be doing, love. I don't. I really don't know what I'm gonna be doing for my birthday. I don't know. Like, y'all, I don't fucking know. 
but what am I about to do right now? I'm about to take my vitamins. I take these vitamins though, and I'm pretty sure it's what has been helping me. Not that like I rely on vitamins and shit like that, because I'm not even the type of person. I don't even take pills. Like, hold on, I'm trying to fix the camera. I don't even take pills though. Because my mom just like not really let me take pills growing up. Like if you live in a Jamaican household or like if you grew up with like Jamaican parents, then you should know like they're just like heavy on not letting you take pills and just doing shit the natural way. So I don't even take pills and shit like that. So I've been taking these ashwagandha um, pills. They're supposed to clinically prove and reduce stress. But I'm not stressed, but I take them because the girl on TikTok was like, it gives her a clear mind. And I think I've been taking these for like four, three to four days straight. And after this, I'm not going to take it for like another week because I just don't want to become reliant on them or whatever but i think they have been making me feel really better like i d it definitely does help with my mind like i'm not gonna care so if you take these pills let me know well they're not like pills they're like vitamins really ow i just hurt myself but if you take these vitamins let me know like what you think about them somebody said that, like i was reading the reviews it said to like watch out because it could like it could cause like weight loss but i'm still eating as well Cause one thing about me, bitch, I'm finna eat. Period. Alright. So I'm thinking, should I start my date early? Like, should we go on the date early? Like, should it be like a little brunch? No, actually, I don't want to do it at night. In the mornings, I like to go to the park anyway. So, you know, it's gonna be a vibe. So right now I'm about to go brush my teeth and like shower and do, oof, I need some more water. I'm about to go brush my teeth, shower and do all that good stuff. And then I'm going to get right back to you cuties. And then hopefully I'm not lazy enough to make some of the fucking breakfast beach because <sighs> me, child, like one thing about me, I don't really like to cook. Like. It just it's fun but like it just takes a lot of energy to start cooking like once you start that cooking shit though like it'd be fun but like it just really do take a lot of energy to be cooking but we gonna see all right i'm gonna see y'all cuties know me As you guys saw, I'm just having like this small meal because I'm probably gonna buy myself fruit arrangements and I might treat myself to Chick-fil-A since it is a date and I haven't had Chick-fil-A in a long time. So, and last night, like I said this like early in the vlog, I did ask dream that I was eating the mac and cheese, so. It's gonna bust every time, period. 
the bread is perfectly toasted. All this that I'm eating, ooh, <laughs> all this that I'm eating right now is from Trader Joe's. I went um, food shopping at Trader Joe's, and it's much better for me to go food shopping there because they have like a lot of vegan stuff. And as y'all know, I don't, I'm like really picky, and I just I don't like eating what's in the actual supermarkets. But I definitely prefer Trader Joe's over any other supermarket. And God for this food, my nourishment. This tastes so good. I'm gonna put more dressing on it. The dressing makes it fuss even more. Y'all, it's my favorite dressing, Italian dressing. This is the fat free one because they didn't have like the regular one. But this dressing right here, one thing about it, that be going bust with anything you eat. Period. I literally be eating this with everything. Like, so I'm enjoying this nice little meal, and I'm gonna get back to y'all. So y'all, this is what I put together for an outfit. It's just this like dark brown top that I got from Pretty Little Thing, and then I'm pairing it with. Uh, you guys seen this? I got this pants from. A set from Pretty Little Thing, but it don't really match. Like the two browns are really different. Like as you can see, this almost looks black. But I want to wear something comfortable, and I don't want to wear jeans. So I think I could pull this off. If not, I'm gonna end up changing. But I'm not really sure what I'm gonna like change my pants to because I want to have something comfortable on. But I think the whole like two different brown things is not that bad, like. I don't know y'all, it's not that bad, but look at my hair. Look at the pink streak, like, ain't that so cute? Period. It's giving grats doll, but I'm about to do my hair. I'm gonna do crimps in my hair because I've been in love with crimps lately. So I'm gonna be crimping my hair, actually. I'm gonna get ready to do my hair probably about right now because it is 10.44 a.m. I finished eating and all that stuff, and I went ahead and picked out an outfit as you guys can see but I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it y'all like I don't know like I want to look cute for my date with myself feel me like period I don't know I don't know how I'm feeling about it y'all let me know well it's not like y'all could tell me like I don't give a fuck if it don't match anyways cuz bitch it ain't that deep I still look good also I'm gonna crimp my hair because crimping the hair is faster than straightening the hair should I do my makeup first and then do my hair? I think I'm gonna do my makeup first. Y'all, I just finished my makeup. This is what it's looking like, period. I feel like the face is definitely giving. Like, I feel like I look very bright, look very glowy, like, period. If y'all want the makeup routine, y'all need to get this video to at least 2,000 likes. Y'all be playing. Like, make sure y'all like this video. And if y'all want a makeup tutorial, make sure y'all comment down below because my camera kept getting overheated so I wasn't able to literally record all the process and the steps. But my makeup routine be stepping. My eyebrows even look a little thinner. Like, period. Like, 
period. I look the fuck good. Now I'm about to do my hair. I'm about to put some crimps in my hair. Once I put the crimps in my hair, it's over. It's over. Period. I'm loving this face. Like, I feel like I was rushing my makeup, but I feel like it actually came out really good. Like, I absolutely love it. Like, ah! I feel like I look so pretty right now. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I actually just wish I could so I need to take my pictures. I mean, I'm probably gonna take some selfies or whatever, but y'all, I ain't got nobody to take my damn pictures. What a shame. What a damn shame. I gotta take my own pictures. So we're gonna do my hair. The girlies are gonna do their hair. The girlie is gonna do her hair. <laughs> Hey girlies, of course y'all already know anytime I install a new wig, I gotta show y'all the install process and that's on period. This wig right here is from Wig Fever. They sent me over this pre-colored skunk stripe wig. Now, y'all, this wig is bomb as hell because it comes pre-colored, like pre-colored. Like they already color it for you. They literally bleach the hair and color it for you so if you don't know how to like do a skunk stripe where you don't know how to dye wigs or you just want to take the safe route and you don't want to mess up like you don't want to buy a black wig to dye it the wig fever gonna do it for you so period they sent me over this pink skunk stripe wig which is beautiful and definitely one of my favorite wigs ever somebody on my instagram said that it's giving monster high doll vibes and it definitely is and i'm all here for it y'all definitely gotta check out wig fever i have it linked down below in the description box this wig is bomb as fuck like period i decided to do a middle part with this wig just because i wanted to be a little different and i just wanted it to have the peekaboo effect but this wig comes in a side part actually but if you are a beginner at wigs and you don't know how to dye wigs baby this is the best beginner friendly wig for you the hairline actually comes pre-plucked so this is the best wig for you if you're a beginner who doesn't really know how to pluck that much it did not need much plucking and they dye it for you love you don't have to dye it like period i'm loving this skunk stripe little trend so i'm really glad that they sent me over this wig but i'm just installing it right now i do my same process i apply like three layers of glue of the hold me down adhesive by erica j and after that i'm gonna blow dry wait till it dries clear and you guys are gonna see the end results of this bomb ass motherfucking install lace melted the lace was actually very beautiful not to mention like it was very thin i love me a thin lace because that's how i know it's gonna melt beautifully but shout out to wig fever because they're bomb as fuck for sending me this skunk strike wig i absolutely love it and i hope you guys enjoy the install process and i'm out of here check out wig fever
So I'm finna use my crimp iron. Put all these extra tools away. I actually should have had it heat up while I was doing my makeup. But I didn't think about that. Yo, I think I need to stop sleeping with my AC so damn high because, bruh, like, the way my throat feels right now, like, I took some apple cider vinegar just so I could prevent myself from getting, you know, I'm not even going to finna claim it. But I got to stop sleeping with the AC so high because I just wake up all, like, clogged. Like, I feel like my throat is just, like, low-key clogged. I don't know why. I said, I don't know why, but just because you leave the fucking AC on the floor. Period. The makeup is giving. I love it. It's such a calm, natural face. Babes. Get into it. Period. Let's see what it looks like with the light on. Still giving. I like when my my bathroom light is off because during the day it don't need like no um no light because my bathroom has such natural lighting because I have like a really big window near my shower. So I don't really like using the light. I like to use the the natural motherfucking light. And I feel like natural lighting is the best. And I feel like I do my makeup be better when I do it in natural lighting. And I actually did my makeup in natural lighting today. Anyways. Y'all, but this hair is bomb as fuck. Like, it's really the streaks for me. Like, it's really the streaks of pink for me. I'm gonna have this wig linked down below in the description box in case you guys are interested. I installed this wig on myself last night a style like this would be so cute on me like some little like you know some little like space buns like messy ass space buns it's giving anime girl i don't know how to describe it but it's looking like i could be a motherfucking rock star i'm a motherfucking rock star bitch motherfucking rock star per the pink is giving come on period Big per, not the motherfucking little one. Big per, bitch, not the motherfucking little one. Alright, y'all, so I'm gonna speed through this and I'm gonna get back to you. Oh my god, y'all. So, like, I'm literally gonna keep saying I'm so proud of myself. Like, y'all, I made my eyebrows thinner. Like, my shits, y'all saw my shits. My shits was bushy. I literally made my shit thinner. I'm the go, bitch. Period. First, spray some hair sperm. Hair. I love it when you touch me, touch me, but it's so lovely, lovely. Baby, when you with me, with me, got no worries, worries. I'm gonna charge my camera so we can have a lot of footage throughout the day. So I'm gonna get to you cuties when I am finished crimping this bum ass wig, period. Bye. So y'all, I'm ready to go. I packed the bag and everything. My hair is done. The last thing I have to do is put on perfume. I already went ahead and put on some deodorant. So now I'm gonna put on perfume because I do want to smell good. Like it is important to smell good as a lady, as a woman. You know, just wanna walk by people. And go, mm, she smells good. To me, that's the best compliment ever. So thank you to today's sponsor, which is Scentbird. They did send me over three different types of name brand dupes dupe perfume for very much affordable you guys should check them out right now my favorite scent from them is actually the versace scent and the dupe name is versen it's supposed to smell exactly like the real smell the perfume is very long lasting and it just smells really good and expensive like child i smell a lot of money right now period and a little goes a long way you don't have to spray as much as me but this smell right here, I literally smell like, you know when you go into the mall and you walk by those like expensive like s stores? That's what I smell like right now. They also did send over another one. I love this cute pink bottle. Like it's super cute and it's travel size. This one right here is called Beautiful Times and I've been using this one as you can see. Like it's literally almost finished. This is another one of my favorite scents. And then this one right here, they as well sent me and you just 
to close them you go like that to open them you go like this they did send me scents of wood aka cypress oak this one actually smells really good um they all smell absolutely amazing the smell lasts is really long so thank you to Sembird for sending me over these freaking palm ash travel size perfumes i'm gonna pop one of these in my bag just because it's super travel size just in case i feel like i want to freshen up a little bit beach that shit right in my bag if it's right there period you can even take it on airplanes just because it is super travel size and it is super affordable and they also come in these cute little dust bags so make sure you guys check out Semper. thank you so much to today's sponsor like i've literally been smelling so good i've been getting so many compliments from people saying oh my god what scent are you wearing girl i'm wearing Semper. period i bought a blanket downstairs and i got my bag Oof! i got my bag full of like my camera like some incense all that good stuff but right now i'm about to I don't know if I'm going to go get some press-ons because um, I don't know if I'm going to go get some press-ons because they finna pop the fuck off. Like, I don't do nails unless it's for me, like me personally. Where am I going? I don't even know where I'm going yet. I don't do nails unless it's like full set, baby. Like, period. It's 12-12. Yeah. The angels is always talking, like they always talk it to me and i receive the message and i claim 12 12 i've been seeing that number so much lately there's like not too many chick-fil-a's in miami like there's literally only two chick-fil-a's in miami so it's like do i really want to go to chick-fil-a i do want to go to get some chick-fil-a because let me see because chick-fil-a is this the one that i always go to because there's this one chick-fil-a like it's really fucking nasty and i only go to certain chick-fil-a's this one let's see it's 18 minutes i just don't want my food to be fucking cold like i'm gonna probably tell them can i make it fresh because i just don't want no cold food like at the park like nah bro like nah i want my food to be warm period i'm currently 16 minutes away i mean if i push it and i drive fast i can definitely come back in like like depending on how long it takes to come back i taught myself how to drive i didn't even fucking know my ex did teach me how to drive like he did show me some like if you know you know like if you've been following this channel for a while you know who i'm talking about he did teach me like the basics of driving but you know I, once i got my car this is when i really learned how to drive for real for real so if you learn how to drive and feel like you can't drive just know once you get your own car that's when you really learn how to drive for real for real but yeah, I'm about to listen to some music, y'all. I really hate the shirt that I have on. I hate shirts like this because it constantly shows my fucking nipples. <sighs> if the if free the nips was a person, it would be me. Like literally. So the first thing, where's my phone? Oh shit. 
It's in my bag. I was like, hold up. Bitch, where the fuck is my phone? So, I got some markers. I got some paints. I got some incense. I bought incense to the park with no lighter. Okay, well, that's canceled. And I have my paintbrushes. I got some waters. I got some canvases. Little thing to put the paint on. And my phone, period. But I'm about to eat my food. Because I'm super hungry. I got my freaking medium fries. I got a mac and cheese. And I got an eight piece nugget with Chick fil A sauce. And another Chick fil A sauce. The french fries are definitely kind of cold. But it's fine. So basically what I want to do is paint and answer some of your girl talk questions that you have for me. I literally have to constantly fix my shirt. I got my mac and cheese. Like, how I dog and chick fil sauce, so I literally just started eating, bro. I should be busting. I just finished eating my food. I had to dog that, like, I had to. Like I said, I was hungry. And I feel like talking while eating. When something's really good, and I'm eating, I don't feel like speaking. I just wanna fuck that shit up, period. Uh, it's actually quite peaceful. I feel like laying down and just closing my eyes right now. I have plenty of time, y'all. Oh my God, look at what time it is.
started drawing a little bit. I don't know really what to paint, so I just like kind of just I don't know. I'm gonna just see where this takes me. But the first girl talk question somebody asked was talk about seeing their true colors once it's too late. This is very common in like friendships, relationships, especially like relationships. A few months to see somebody's true colors, and I feel like it's never too late because once you peep their true colors, you should just and leave. Get that bread, get that head, and leave. Even though they're probably not even giving you no bread. They're probably not even giving you good head. So bitch, just leave. Like, for me. After that three to six months period, a person will show you, like, their true colors. And once they show you their true colors, best believe that's, that's how they are. And that's how they are as a person. And you can't change nobody that don't want to be changed. Like, when we first meet people, when we're first in relationships, we all put on, like, a little act in the honeymoon phase when it's the first few months and then you really start to get to know a person and y'all really start to get to know each other and you really see how like ill like ill your character is just disgusting like but sometimes it can take a while t for somebody to show their true colors in a relationship or even in a friendship it's just you have to peep people's pattern like and i feel like set boundaries as well that's something that i learned recently like if you set boundaries in a friendship, in a relationship, whether they do something that you don't like and it triggers you and it disturbs you, let that person know and set a boundary with them. Like, oh, I don't like when you do this. Could you not do that when you're around me or not say this and that when you're around me? And if they continue to do what you told them not to do, and that's not your friend or you just shouldn't even be in a relationship with them. If somebody can't respect you and your boundary, you shouldn't hang around them and that's on period. So the next one is toxic family relationships. So me personally, I wouldn't say like, I feel like we all have like some type of like toxicity, not maybe not us all, but like especially if your family's like past traumas or you know, it's generational for your family not to really talk about things. Like a lot of shit is generational for us to not talk about our feelings to our parents. Our and if you have a toxic family, I would say the best thing you can do is just either get away from them if you have the opportunity to. Once you get away from your toxic family, you'll just have a chance to discover who you are as a person and how you want to live your life. But if you don't have the opportunity to like get away from your toxic family, say you're not in a situation or position where you're able to move out or anything like that, I would say set boundaries with them. Setting boundaries are important. Set boundaries with them or just try to stay as far away from them as possible, even if you live with them. Like you don't, just because you live with somebody don't mean you gotta speak and interact with them. I mean, I feel like that's, I'm giving like rude advice because that kind of sounds rude. Like for example, if it's your mom and she's talking to you, I would say just try to, okay, this is the best advice I could give. Don't take anything too personally because people are always projecting how they feel about themselves onto you. So never take anything too personally, especially if it's coming from a toxic family member. You especially then don't take that shit too personally because they're just projecting their past trauma. They're projecting all their trauma onto you. So I would just honestly feel sad for them and pray for them. Because you're not about to project that shit over here. Just don't take shit too personally. That's what I would say when it comes to dealing with toxic family or just toxic people in general. Set boundaries. Don't let nobody disrespect you though. But definitely don't take anything too personally. Because whether it's like when somebody doesn't like themselves, they're going to treat other people like shit. And that's because they don't like themselves. What do I say to my mom to start going to my boyfriend's house? So what I did with my mom, because I think I told y'all this, my mom was very like strict. She didn't like give me much freedom up until like I was 17, 18. And once I did get a boyfriend and I let her know that I had a boyfriend, at first I was lying to her like, oh, I'm going to sleep over at a friend's house. This another third. I would say don't lie. Like if you don't have to, don't lie because they'll just get caught up in the end. And your mom probably even knows you're already lying. My mother always knows. So I would always tell her like, oh, I'm going to go sleep over at a friend's house. My friend's having a sleepover. This another third. But at first she didn't even let me sleep over a female's house. Mind you. What I would tell her was like, I had spoke to her one day. I was like, mom, I was I'm 17 about to be 18 i i need freedom like you're gonna have to let go like you're gonna have to let me do my own thing in life and i sat down and i spoke to her and i let her know that i would like freedom like you can't just have me in this house like i spoke to her we came to an agreement you know she's like okay you can start going outside well not that i could start going outside because i was going outside but she was like okay you can start going out just like you know answer your mother's calls answer her texts you know 
and she's calling you pick up the phone just try to set like an agreement with your mom even if you have to have some type of curfew but i would say definitely come to some sort of agreement with your mom the best thing to do is sit down and talk to her about how you're feeling especially if you want to start going out more if you have friends that you want to hang out with a boyfriend you want to hang out with you let her know what it is straight up that's the best thing to do like trust me i lied before and lying is not going to do anything for you so the best thing you can really do is just let your mom know straight up like hey i have a boyfriend or you know i want to start spending time with him can i go to his house and earn your mother's trust that's what i would say earn her trust so that way if you want to sleep over there for a week shorty gonna let you because she trusts you what do you do if you think you're not as interested in your partner as to when you first got together i would say this has definitely happened to me before like i think i'm into a person and then we get together and it's like mm, yeah this is not gonna work like i've definitely been there so definitely don't feel bad about that i would say just end it because if you are unsure about a person that means that you do not like them if you like somebody you're not going to be unsure about them like you'll know for sure like yeah i like this person and i want to be with them and we're going to be together and we're going to make this relationship work but if you're unsure at any point in the relationship then it's just best to leave so nobody gets hurt and definitely be honest with the person somebody said body odor slash hygiene during slash after your period so after my period when i get off my period to make sure like down there in that area like smells good after being on my period i would say definitely drink a lot of water while you're on your period try to eat like healthy foods try to refrain from foods that'll make you smell like for example onions fish i like to eat a lot of healthy foods in general but especially when i'm on my period like i try not to eat like anything too crazy of course i'm a snack and i'm gonna get my little snacks because period you gotta have your snacks while you're on your period and that's on period bitch so i would say one thing my mom taught me is douching i'm not sure if too many people know about that but douching is like where you get like um i do it natural my mom gets like white vinegar and like you douche your vagina if you don't know what douching is look it up but after i get off my period i take a shower and i douche my vagina especially like if after your period you're gonna have sex or something like that you definitely want to douche 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 that vagina bitch so it says do you think it's okay if you're in a relationship and your man makes new friends that are females no that's not okay that's not okay at all if they were already his friends before you came around then cool feel me but there's boundaries when you're in a relationship and i think if you're in a relationship with a boy and he just makes some new female friends i think that's a little sus if you ask me that's a, that's giving sus boy like that's definitely giving me sus boy because where did these friends come from like why do you need to be friends with bitches you got fr like you got me as a friend like what are you doing like i can completely understand if the friends were around before you came but it's the fact that you're making new female friends while we're in a whole relationship is giving weirdo so someone said how to know if your boyfriend is controlling if you're even questioning the fact that your boyfriend is controlling he might be controlling because if your boyfriend wasn't controlling you wouldn't be questioning like mm, is my boyfriend controlling so if you have to question something then just know you already got your answer because if your boyfriend was not controlling, you wouldn't have to question if he was controlling or not. So obviously, some part of you is feeling controlled. Like I said, this is the best advice I feel like I heard or anything like that. I don't know. This is the best advice I ever heard. If you have to question something, that's your answer. That's your answer right there. If you have to question whether you're happy in a relationship that's your answer you're not happy if you have to question whether your partner loves you that's your answer they don't love you if you have to question whether somebody actually likes you and they're playing with your feelings that's your question they're probably like if something is yours and it's for you you're not gonna question that shit at all like if you like somebody and you genuinely like them, you genuinely want to be with that person you're not gonna question that shit and now my paint got all over my blanket y'all I'm not even done with my painting and my camera's dying like it's giving ghetto is giving oh it's not giving ghetto at all it's giving very much peaceful right now but this is what i got so far y'all i'm not sure where this painting is gonna go like i'm not sure what i'm about to do with this honestly i'm just painting literally like i started the flowers i don't know what else i'm gonna do with this right now my camera is nice so let me see if i get in a few more questions 
So the next one is being cheated on slash healing and moving on. Um, healing is very lonely. Let me just say that. Like when it's time to heal, that shit is going to get lonely, y'all. And it's not easy and it's okay to cry. It's okay to feel every emotion that you are feeling, especially if you were cheated on. It is okay to feel upset, hurt. It is okay to cry. Like it is okay to feel all those emotions because once you release those emotions, you're going to feel way better. Like that's why when I like now when I'm feeling sad and stuff, I realized like somebody in my comments had commented this on my last video. They was like, just know like when stuff is happening to you, it's happening for you and not to you. Like the universe is doing it for you. God is doing it for you. Just know that if you're feeling sad right now, it is okay because the, literally you're going to be so happy in a few. Like I promise you, like you're just going through, you know, a tunnel to get to the light. And that's on period. And it is okay to feel sad. Like feel it so you don't got to feel it no more. Like if you feel sad, allow yourself to feel sad so you can release those emotions and you don't have to feel them anymore. And then you can feel happy and free. That's on period, y'all is okay to feel like i used to be the type of person who just be like so hard all the time like i took i didn't cry didn't do none of that shit i like when i was younger like i barely cried and shit like that and i still barely cry now like if i cry it's because like I, if i cry just know like i'm crying because like i'm hurting about like so many things like that's just me though so y'all i actually stopped painting because i have to pee now so i'm about to head home in a few but before i head home because i have to pee and my other camera died and i don't really like using this camera because it just don't be capturing everything like that so i'm finna just walk this little path and show y'all this spot that i like to go to near some water and it's like super fucking relaxing and it's just a damn vibe so we're gonna go over there because nobody really be over there like that i just want to show you guys the view i be posting it on my instagram and a lot of y'all be like where is that so make sure you follow me on instagram because if you're not following me on instagram it means you're not in tune and you're not keeping up like you see how this camera just like see that's why i'm like using this camera but hopefully nobody's over there oh look at it it's two 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 y'all that's crazy i just looked at my phone and it's freaking two 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 well, we're about to go sit near this water. It's gonna be really fucking exciting, period. Oh, that was so awkward. Somebody just fucking looked at me. This fucking recording. Uh -uh. Who gives a fuck? Because this is my world, bitch. And I don't really care. He's doing his own thing. I'm doing my own thing. I don't give a fuck. It's high. So I'm gonna get back to the car and I'm gonna drive to the post office. It's currently 4:21. I went ahead and opened a PO box. So good news, my birthday is in six days. So if y'all want to send me any letters, any gifts, any gift cards, if you want to promote your small business, babes, you can go down below in the description box. I'll have it on screen as well. And y'all can finally fucking mail me. Like if you literally just want to write a letter, like asking for advice or something, bitch, write me. Don't be shy. Like let me tell y'all, don't be shy. If you feel like you need help with something, if you feel like you're going through something you want to write me bitch you could write me like we friends okay okay if you want to send me a gift you could do that if you want to send me something for my apartment you could do that if you want to send me something for the channel you could do that if you want to fucking send me a million dollars you could do that okay <laughs> let me stop nah but seriously on a serious note if y'all want to ever contact me write a letter if y'all want me to like read y'all letters on camera let me know if you want it to be kept private put that in the letter as well or y'all can send me like uh gifts my birthday is coming up y'all so for me like you could send me a gift or whatever for me but it's really nice outside it's 4 p.m and the sun is about to soon start setting so it's kind of like good that i got in the house at this time because um, I don't know what I was gonna say, but basically, yeah, I opened a PO box. 
So if you want to promote your small business, period. Y'all know where to find me. The P.O. box always going to be in the description box. Period. It's in there right now. Period. Period. Your girl got a P.O. box. Period. Who fucking with her? Period. Nobody. Who fucking with me? Nobody. Period. Look at this hair though. Period. Anyways, I'm in such a good mood, y'all. I'm still in love with my makeup. Like, my under eyes look fucking beautiful. Period. Um, my mom just, she's calling me. Hello? And y'all, let me tell y'all how I deadass went to the whole post office to get a P.O. box. But I forgot, like, this morning, I had, like, did some orders. Like, I started the tracking number. But I forgot to freaking pack the damn orders. And I get to the post office, I'm like, yo. As soon as I get to the post office, I get an order from my business. And I'm like, did I have some packages to ship out? So I'm going to ship those out and pack them. I'm going to pack them tonight and I'm going to ship them out later. But right now it's four. I'm just about to chill because I've been driving around and like been like really busy all day. So I'm like just about to chill right now. And yeah, that's about it. And I'm going to pick this camera up. Like a little later when I make myself something to eat, I really want to think about what I want to eat. I'm probably not going to eat nothing too major because my sink has to get fixed. I'm probably going to set an appointment online for them to come fix my sink tomorrow because I actually want to cook. Because I want to do a YouTube video of like me cooking like this TikTok recipe that I've seen on TikTok. So I want to do that, but I won't be able to do that if my sink is dirty and I'm not washing my fucking... Well, not, not, not my sink is dirty. Well, it is dirty because there's dishes in it. But I can't fucking wash the dishes because the sink like it would be it'd be leaking so i need somebody to come fix that and i'm not washing my dishes in the sink like no no love i'm not doing that and that's very unsanitary so i'm just about to fulfill an order that we got and then uh after that look i love when y'all order for me and y'all send me like sweet messages so this is what she said y'all Shout out to Chanel. I think that she spells her name differently though. But shout out to Chanel. She's from she's from the Grand Com Cayman Islands. I think. Oh no, I never heard of that. Y'all look. This is what she said. She said, "Hey, see, I just want to say I'm beyond proud of you and how far you came. I know it hasn't been an easy road." But you made it, and it shows how much you've grown as a young woman. I can't wait to receive my package. All the best. I love you. I love you too, Chanel. Period. We got the same name. I just love when y'all write me these sweet messages because it just gives me a reason to keep going. Like, y'all are the best. And I wish I could give the world to every each of my last one of y'all. Like, the love I have for y'all is unreal. But yeah, I'm finna rest a little bit. We're gonna see what the fuck. I eat for dinner. I don't really fucking know. Mario, do you know? I don't think he knows either. Alright, later y'all.